Don't forget about Mackay Becton. While George Fant was great filling in at left tackle for the Jets this year, the blind side belongs to the big ticket. Let's take a look at the film and I'll show you why Becton is the best answer for the Jets at left tackle and why people have forgotten just how dynamic he was as a rookie. Let's go. What's going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and let's talk about Mackay Becton. The narrative over the last 12 months has been wild. He's gone from a franchise young batting left tackle to a guy who should swap sides of the line or maybe play right guard. Look, let's not get this twisted. George Fant had a career year. He had a breakout season for the Jets. What he did in his best NFL season, it did not match Mackay Becton, according to PFF, in any category in his rookie season. Let's take a look at the numbers. I put them on screen now. Mackay Becton, 74 overall PFF grade. George Fant in his career year in 2021, 71. Let's talk about run game. 74 for Becton. Just 60 for George Fant. And then pass pro. It's so easy to think, well... Fant allowed just one sack, Becton, five or six in 2020, he still has a better pass blocking grade than George Fant. This was his first year at a position that's so hard to play. Let's take a look at the film. I'm going to explain why Becton is so dominant and has a chance to be special. Let's look at the biggest differentiator, and that's the running game. Mackay Becton's mobility for a 360 pound athlete is absurd. Pin pull here, what you've got. The wide receiver and the tight end, they're both going to block down. That's Perryman and Griffin. You're going to get a reach block from the guard. And then look at Mackay Becton out in space on the pull, just annihilating secondary players. Look at the pad level, the tight hands, and then the play strength. This dude is just an animal. Look at the mobility out of his stance. He fires out and then just hits his target every single time. Another example here against Buffalo. Get out in space and make a guy pay. Look at the fluidity. You can see the crack blocks, Becton out in space. Dude looks like he weighs 300 pounds. Don't worry about his weight. Don't listen to the beat. Look at this monster of a man get out on the pull, hit his target, and send a guy 15 yards down the football field. And one more before we move on. This may have actually been my favorite play of his from the season. The Jets have a little end around here to Josh Malone. Look at the big ticket at left tackle, top of your screen, come flying out of his stance, get to the second level, and just put hands on a linebacker, and look at this finish. Dude just pancakes him. Where is the maple syrup? Mackay Becton is a beast. And this wasn't a one-off highlight, trying to grab three plays out of the entire season. This was littered on the Mackay Becton tape. So I mentioned that a lot of people know about his run blocking, but he was so good as a rookie. He was so good in pass protection. Let's take a look at it against the best. George Fant didn't play a whole lot of guys last year. Well, first guy we're going to look at, Mackay Becton in pass pro, going up against Nick Bosa. Pretty good young player. Not sure if you've heard of him. Left tackle, number 77. I want you to watch off the snap how he does a great job shooting his hands, stopping the inside move, and now watch him reestablish his base, work those hands inside, and look at those feet. Just drops the anchor at full speed, get out of his stance, quick jab, and then reset, work the base underneath him. That's incredible. This is against a guy who was nearly the defensive player of the year the season prior as a rookie. Mackay Becton was all over him until he tore his ACL. Another example here, Nick Bosa in that wide nine technique we see with the Robert Sala defense. Look at the big ticket. Again, patient hands, shoots, and then throws him to the ground. Nick Bosa. This isn't a college player. This isn't just your average run-of-the-mill defensive end. It's Nick Bosa. And look at the way he forces him inside. Great punch with that left hand. And then just moves the feet and throws him to the floor. Mackay Becton, man, I'm telling you, he can do things that about three guys can in the NFL. And let's take a look at another one here against another really good edge rusher. Number 97 again. You'll see that a little bit Mackay Becton, look how patient and well he travels. I keep reiterating it. 360 pounds, guys. Look at the ease in which he moves. He throws that inside right hand. Let's make sure Ed Oliver can't do anything there with the guard. And then watch the fluidity. Look at the hand placement. He wins the pad level. He wins with inside tight hands. And he just drops that anchor and runs him around the corner. I love the way, again, he reworks those hands and just keeps him around the hoop. I'll let you watch it at full speed. This is beautiful, man. Mackay Becton, he's like a dancing bear out there. 
Let's take a look at one last pass blocking rep. Again, very similar thing. Shows the inside hand to the defensive tackle. Make sure the guard hasn't got too much to deal with. Just look at the ease of this play. This looks like a practice rep. This is against the best defense in the NFL in 2020. And Mackay Becton not only travels well, not only gets out of his stance, but look at the play strength and where the defensive end is when Sam Darnold lets go of this football. It's just incredible athleticism. I keep saying it, the way he travels, the hand placement, the patience with his hand, and then the strength at the end of that to finish. It's tough to do, guys. All right, let's get back into the fun stuff. Run blocking, I mentioned it. He had a 74 run blocking grade, George Fan only around 60. In conjunction with that, he had much worse left guard play. Imagine this kid and AVT next to each other. This is the answer. It's not about swapping sides. Mackay Becton, right hand side of your screen, left tackle. Whenever he has that right hand on his face mask, there's a good chance he's going to shoot out of it, explode, and come and hit you downhill. Just look at the play strength and how physical he is. Again, get out of your stance, inside hands, bang. And then finish that kid. Put him on the floor and land on him. Mackay Becton shoots his hands. The strength. These aren't college kids. These are 270, 280 pound NFL athletes. The best in the world. And Mackay Becton as a rookie did that to them. And then has the mongrel to land on the guy. Look at the way he gets up yapping. Telling Adam Gase which way to run. The big ticket is special. All right, let's look at a guy who gave him probably the most trouble, ironically, and it's Clillan Farrell. Well, not in the run game. Mackay Becton with one hand. One right hand. The extension. The power. Look at the lane that number 77 creates. He's called Highway 77 for a reason. This is just incredible extension and strength. The ability to just keep those legs moving through contact. I'm not kidding when I say the running back could have hit this hole three times over. Josh Adams has so much space. You could have fit three of him through this hole. Mackay Becton in the run game is just something else. Well, we've talked about one Bosa brother and a couple of 97s. Let's take a look now at Joey. He didn't fare much better. Mackay Becton, the only left tackle in the NFL that didn't allow pressure against Bosa and Ingram in 2020. All right, let's have a look in the run game. Well, it gets him on the hash. Look how far... He moves, premier edge defenders in the NFL. The power in this 22-year-old's hands just throws him out of the way, then gets engaged again, doesn't let him shed, keeps the legs working, and allows Frank Gore, who doesn't have a lot of wiggle, to get through that hole and take it for an extra five or six yards. It's brute force. It's extension. It's tenacity. It's big ticket. When Mackay Becton gets to the second level and he's able to do his business and shoot out of his stance just like this, bang, explosive, get out of the three-point stance, find the safety, and he makes men disappear. He literally makes the safety disappear. He's not there anymore. Mackay Becton pushes a grown man, and yes, I know, it's a secondary player. He gets him 15 yards and off the screen. But the best thing, and let's finish on this one, the best thing about Mackay Becton is that he takes big guys just as far. Defensive tackle, lined up in a four-tech. Extension. Poof, man, I tell you what. How far has he carried that DT? 10 yards down the field, throws him to the ground. Man, this guy is the future. I just want to explain, and I wanted to emphasize how good this kid is. He's Trent Williams. He has played 690 NFL snaps. I know George Fant was really good, but he's got to go. He's got to get to right tackle and he has to perform there because you have a generational tackle on the blind side. Be patient with him. Don't worry about the injuries yet. Let's give this kid a chance to grow because Mackay Becton, the big ticket, he's the real deal.